Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Maytag washer inlet valve screen. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get at ApplianceParsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new inlet valve screen. The inlet valve screen is located in the water valve. The main reason you be changing it out is if it's corroded or damaged and the water flow is being reduced and the washer is not filling properly. In order to change the part, we have to go around at the back of the washer. Now that we're on back, we can put a towel down to catch any water that may come out when we take off the fill hose. If you're going to change both screens, you want to make sure you label the hoses hot and cold so you don't get them mixed up. We're just going to do the upper one, which is the hot one. We're going to use the pliers to loosen up the fill hose. Once you have the hose broke free, we can just reach in and use our hand to take it off the rest of the way. Once you have it off, you can just set it down so we can take out the screen. Now that we have the hose off, we have access to the inlet valve screen. It's located here on the inside of the hose fitting. We're just going to reach in with a small flathead screwdriver and try to break it free and pull it out of the valve. Once you have the inlet valve screen out, you can pull it off the washer. Here's the old inlet valve screen next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new inlet valve screen in, we're just going to line it up with the opening and get it started. Once you have it started, you can grab a needle nose and we're going to use it to push on each side carefully. The needle nose will allow you to do two sides at a time so it doesn't go sideways. And you can just push it back until you have it seated. If you have to, you can turn it around and push from the opposite direction. Once you have it in all the way, you just want to take a small flathead screwdriver and go around the edge and just push in to make sure it's seated all the way. Once you have the screen installed, we can put the fill hose back on. To put the fill hose back on, all you have to do is line it up with the valve and get it started. And be careful, you don't want to cross thread this and strip out the threads and damage the valve. Once you have it hand tight, you can tighten it down with the pliers so we don't get any leaks. Now that we have the fill hose back on, we can plug the washer back in Turn the water back on and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.